Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the derivative of y equals 3x over x squared minus 1. I'm going to do that by using the quotient rule, which you see down here. And let's see how we do that. So here we have y prime, the derivative equal. I'm going to draw this fraction line. And if you notice, the first thing here is f prime of x, the derivative of the numerator. Oh, that's the thing I'm going to write here. The derivative of 3x times g of x. That g of x is the denominator. So times x squared minus 1. And then we have a minus. Be careful. And let's move to the second part where we keep the first function, the f of x, the numerator. So 3x times the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of x squared minus 1 in this case. And then the denominator for this quotient rule is nothing else than the denominator of our function, which is x squared minus 1 raised to the second power. So from here, we're going to do some simplification. And we have, and first, let's do the derivative. The derivative of 3x is 3 times the quantity x squared minus 1, minus 3x, and the derivative of x squared minus 1, it's 2x. And the denominator, as I said, stay like that, x squared minus 1 squared. We can do some simplification here. First of all, distributive property, 3x squared minus 3, minus 6x squared over x squared minus 1 squared and then we have to simplify the numerator and we have negative 3x squared minus 3 over x squared minus 1 squared and that will be y prime uh, you can factor out a negative 3, but that doesn't simplify anything else. So I think I'm going to stay with this form. If you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.